Californians are voting on marriage equality this November with Prop 3. Let's talk about what it would do and how California came to be one of the first states to ban same-sex marriage. Proposition 3 is the right to marry and repeal Proposition 8 amendment, which would do two things. First, it would establish the right to marry as a protected fundamental right, and two, it would repeal Prop 8, which was passed by voters in 2008, from the California state constitution. In case you don't remember, California banned same-sex marriage back in 2008 when 54% of voters approved Prop 8. A, which added language to our state constitution that says only marriage between a man and a woman is valid or recognized in California. And that language is still in our state constitution. Because of Prop 8, same-sex marriage was banned in the state of California until 2013 when the United States Supreme Court stepped in to support the decision that ruled that Prop 8 was unconstitutional. It wasn't until 2015 until same-sex marriage was legal nationwide. Now I bet you're wondering, how could a state as progressive as California ban same-sex marriage? Part of it was a confusing language that made voters think that a yes vote meant supporting marriage equality when a yes vote actually supported the ban. Another reason can be explained in one analysis of the poll data collected by the No on 8 campaign, which showed a big shift in one particular demographic of undecided voters. Parents. Many white Democrats with children under the age of 18. The Yes on 8 campaign targeted parents and implied that school curriculums would be required to teach about gay marriage, that their child's education would be affected, and that they would be indoctrinated and more likely to become gay. Sound familiar? This is the same exact anti-LGBTQ plus rhetoric being used by homophobic school board candidates on your ballot this election, and by hate groups in your community disguised as parental rights groups. Although there is no formal campaign against Prop 3, many conservative and religious groups oppose the proposition, and many Republican state legislators refuse to support the bill by abstaining their floor vote. California's history with Prop 8 is a reminder of how important voter education is even in a state as progressive as California, which still bans same-sex marriage in its constitution. It also teaches us the importance of protecting our rights at the state level by participating in our state and local governments through activism and voting. You can read more about this ballot proposition and get our voter recommendation by checking out our guide. Next, we're covering Prop 4, the climate bond measure. See you soon!